Aside from being America's sweetheart movie star, Sandra Bullock also has a passion for investing in real estate across the US. For decades, she has been building up a multi-million dollar portfolio, owning an estimated 17 properties from coast to coast. It's said the award-winning actress splits her time between a getaway in Wyoming, a mansion in Texas, a luxury townhome in New York City, a Victorian estate in New Orleans, and a multi-acre property in Beverly Hills. Not to mention, she's also purchased at more properties in Malibu and LA in recent years. We'll take a look at a few of Sandra's many properties, we even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Sandra Bullock is a Virginia-born actress and producer who has received many awards and accolades over the span of her career. She's known for starring roles in many films from Miss Congeniality to The Blind Side and Bird Box, just to name a few. She's been dubbed the world's highest paid actress more than once and has amassed a net worth of about $250 million, which sounds like more than enough to fund her always growing real estate portfolio. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one looking at the luxury homes of Sandra Bullock. We're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers and we're kinda close, so if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. As always, hit me up on Instagram if you wanna chat, and now let's get into this video. While Sandra's Hollywood royalty, she too loves spending time away from the spotlight. Way back in 1997, she dropped 575k on a home in Austin, Texas atop Barton Creek. In 2013, she ended up selling the 5,633 square foot home for $2 million, and it boasted three beds and 2.5 baths. Photos show this white stucco and smoked glass modern residence was situated on 1.75 acres of land and offered features like a multi-level terrace, lap lane swimming pool, in-ground spa, and a tennis court. While Sandra let go of this crib, she wasn't done with Texas. Back in 1998, the star said she feels a lightness when she's here, and that Texas is the kind of place where she can feel normal again. She also snagged a 5.81 acre lakefront spread on Lake Austin in 1997, spending a reported millions to custom build a mansion here, only to move out days after moving in. Why, you may ask? She claimed to have concerns over mold and poor workmanship, also suing the builder and being awarded $7.8 million in damages. Since then, several smaller homes and a two-story boathouse have been built also on the property. Sandra also keeps a remote getaway in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. It seems celebrities love to hide out here, from Jeffree Star to Kanye West, and I'm sure the privacy makes it a hit. According to maps, Sandra's Wyoming retreat is located in the Gros Venter West area and described as a peaceful sanctuary situated on a small open meadow on nearly three acres of land. It's also surrounded by aspens and large fir trees for lush privacy. The home's value now is estimated at over $2.2 million and inside spans just under 2,000 square feet of space with three beds and two baths. Main living spaces offer the quintessential log cabin vibe with a great room boasting double height ceilings and a fireplace along with rustic features like the antler chandelier near the Eden kitchen. There's a spacious master suite with stunning mountain views, a couple of guest quarters, and a bonus loft. Area. I could definitely see why Sandra loves her log home getaway. Outside, you can experience nature with moose, elk, eagles, and other animals often roaming the property. Okay, now for my personal favorite, Sandra's New Orleans home and 1876 Gothic Victorian mansion she purchased in 2009. Need I say more? The stunning and historic home is known as the Coach Mays House and the Swiss Chalet House, among other nicknames, and it cost the actress $2.24 million. There are many period features throughout the 7,544 square foot home, including detailed ironwork, gilded interiors, carved columns and mantles, and more. The home boasts five beds, 4.5 baths, and a sprawling grand entry foyer, which stretches 41 feet from front to back with shimmering wood floors. The main level of the three-story structure includes a parlor, a ballroom, and a dining room, all with 14-foot ceilings, while nearby there's also a cozy den with deep wine-colored walls and a modest kitchen. Most of the rooms also have glamour chandeliers, and there are plenty of fireplaces with carved marble mantles throughout. The grounds of Sandra's Victorian abode offer elegant gardens, a large lawn, and a swimming pool surrounded by terraces. 
If you didn't know, the actress has a soft spot for New Orleans since it's where her adopted son Louis was born in 2010 and Sandra's adopted daughter is also from Louisiana. Like most A-listers, you already know Sandra also owns an impressive residence in Beverly Hills. Purchased in 2011 following her split from Jesse James, she put down over $16 million for this Tudor-style mansion situated on 4.1 acres of land in the west end of the posh neighborhood. The estate features an 8,110 square foot main house, a screening room, a poolside pavilion, and a detached garage. This stately home is fronted with a long gated driveway and stone exteriors. Inside, the mansion boasts a total of seven bedrooms and eight baths over two and a half levels, while Sandra's master suite is massive, complete with a sitting room, a fireplace, and dual bathrooms. Also in the home, there's a grand living room with fireplace, panel dining room with yet another fireplace, and an eat-in kitchen. There's also a library, an office, a home gym, and bonus staff quarters, all of which are kept private with a top-notch security system. From Sandra's property, you can enjoy amazing views from downtown LA to the ocean, and the movie theater is located elsewhere on the property, along with the poolside pavilion with bed and bath. Of course, to go with that pavilion, there's also a swimming pool and spa on the grounds. While the actress calls this Tudor mansion her main home, she's invested in LA condos too. In 2014, she bought a two-bedroom condo in West Hollywood's famed Sierra Towers for $3.35 million, and she still owns it even though she had it up for rent in 2017. Also in 2017, Sandra purchased yet another slightly larger unit in the building for over $5 million, and it appears she still owns this apartment as well. Most recently, we also found out that starting in 2018, Sandra used three entities with different names to buy up three more properties in LA. One in the mountains above Beverly Hills, and two oceanfront abodes in a guard-gated Malibu neighborhood. Altogether, they cost the star $16.5 million in cash. The first house Sandra bought in 2018 for $8.5 million. The Lux property is in an exclusive Malibu enclave that offers 24-7 guards and other famous neighbors. This home spans 3,700 square feet of space, with four beds and four baths, all of which are overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Originally built in 1979, the house is a beachside dream perched on stilts, with floor-to-ceiling windows and multiple terraces throughout. There's also a handy open-plan layout with sliding glass doors and a slightly outdated 90s kitchen with dark wood cabinets and stainless appliances. Mrs. Bullock's second home purchase is slightly smaller, but no less charming. In 2020, she paid $5.3 million for a 1,300 square foot cottage located in the same exclusive Malibu neighborhood. The single level mint green residence has two beds and two baths throughout, and Sandra had it listed as a rental property, but it's unclear if there's currently a tenant occupying the home. Most recently in spring 2021, Sandra bought one more property in the mountains above Beverly Hills. This home is an updated mid-century bungalow that costs her $2.7 million and spans 2,800 square feet of refreshed space. Built in 1946 and renovated plenty since, the home boasts three bedrooms and 3.5 baths throughout with open living areas and sleek ebony colored hardwood floors. While Sandra will probably never live at the premises, it's a shame because it's a stunning home to say the least. The kitchen offers top of the line appliances while there's a living room with fireplace and high ceilings, along with a cool red themed library. Even outside, the grounds are impressive, comprised of a pool with waterfall and elsewhere, there's a charming English style garden. So now that we've taken a look at some of Sandra Bullock's many properties, I think I'll wrap up this house tour. Let's not forget the actress also has a getaway on the East Coast, a spacious townhouse in the New York City neighborhood of Soho. She bought this place for $3.35 million some years ago, but seems to frequent it less and less these days, even though she still owns it. And now it's probably worth double that. I gotta say, Sandra is one celebrity with more real estate than I could ever imagine. If she really does own 17 properties across the US, the ones we looked at are just the tip of the iceberg. Out of the homes we saw, did you guys have a favorite? Which one was it and why? Like I said before, my favorite was her historic home in New Orleans because I just love that classic Victorian style. That's a total dream home. Be sure to let me know your fave down in that comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.